Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me at CGB today in the arena. It's Grixis and I know that Grixis is not exactly the new deck on the block for the format, but I've been on a bit of a losing streak with the last couple of decks that I have played. And one thing I do when I hit a losing streak is you go back to something reliable. I found Grixis to be a very, very reliable deck in this particular meta. So we're going to play some Grixis and rebuild that rank. My favorite thing to do in Grixis is probably not not the absolute best thing to do in the format, but I love Blade Coil Serpent. It gives me those Hydroid Crisis vibes of you play this and you completely reload or decimate your opponent's hand and you get into such a beautiful position. But if you are ahead and just trying to get those last few points of damage, a hasty Blade Coil Serpent can do the job. So Blade Coil Serpent as a four of in Grixis isn't what most people will do, but it's something that I enjoy from the deck. Another four of is Shelter the Apocalypse because red decks cannot be allowed to enjoy any anything at all if you're doing your job for the dojo you must make the red deck suffer first and foremost invoke despair still a really good card corpse appraiser one of the best reasons to be grixis because not only do you take out their graveyard trespasser fodder you also get deeper and get to find more blade coil serpents and more invoke despairs it increases the consistency of the deck by a lot it's a really good card in fact the only thing that's doing anything with blue in the deck is corpse appraiser and blade coil serpent because i don't really think that the counter spells are are right in best of one. I love them for the mid-range mirrors, but in best of one, I've moved as far away from counter spells as possible and gone for just absolutely epic board presence or things that tear the board to pieces like Gix's Command and Invoke Despair. So while Grixis isn't the new kid on the block, it's certainly the kid on the block that I like to turn to when I need a few wins, and I love doing it with something that feels familiar in a fresh new way, which is Blade Coil Serpent. So let's dive in, let this Grixis nonsense begin, and by the way, if you want to see stats and you want to see more information like different cards I've tried, hit the link in the description for the deck list. It takes you to the untapped.gg page where you can find all this and of course the deck list itself. So on that note, still not doing outros, recording ahead, but I do appreciate you. Thanks for watching the videos. You're cool. On the play with no blue mana, Sheldred as the first play of the game, Mulligan. Making my blade coils look a little silly. Keep. Is this right? Double red? Yeah, double red's what we probably don't need much of. Our opponent always has it. We shall see. I'll enjoy putting that to the test. Doesn't always have a one drop, apparently. All right, not a Thalia, please. That would really nerf my next turn. Always has it. Yeah, right. Fable. Let's start the party. Cathar Commando. Frustrating little card you got there. Let's see what it does. Are they going to blow up the Fable after an attack? No, they're going to play Resto Iganjo. Now, worth noting, we do not want to go for the throat on the Cathar Commando. They'll just get it back. Um, so, do we discard here? I don't think so. I think we just play Shieldred. I think everything here is good. And I don't think we attack, because then they discard the planes, get back the commando, blow up the Fable, and we lost both sides of our Fable for not much. Now, on the other hand, we could go for the throat, then attack. They get it back. They still blow up the Fable later, but we still have our 2-2 that's making treasures. And we could do that instead of playing Shieldred, because then all we need is one land for a good Blade Coil Serpent. Hmm, I think that might be fine. The only problem is we use our go for the throat, but I don't think they're very good against mono white. So I think this is the play. There's also this thing where if they blow up the fable with their commando, it can't use it on the blade coil. Yeah, they discard a wedding announcement because they still need the land. So that's actually, like, is that even good? Is that a good sequence for them? Wait a minute, they didn't need the land. Weird play. Weird play. They were going to get another planes anyway. I guess we can assume they have something huge and expensive that they still need to cast. All right, do we draw the land? We do not, but we can attack. And then we can Serpent. I don't want to pay the red. 
uh, because yeah, we already that ship sailed. Uh, making them discard, they seem to really want this land. Do we just make them discard three, or do we? Yeah, we have to make them discard at least one because of these lands. We definitely don't want a chance of these getting farewelled or something. All right. I think I'd rather draw the cards. My whole deck is built around value. So make them discard one. Will it be that plains? It will be the wandering emperor. They really do want their land. Okay, we draw two lands. I'm going to get back that commando to kill the serpent, but it already generated three cards. So that's okay. These are the matchups where the serpents are actually like you're excited to have a bunch of them because you can draw into them over the course of the game. They just keep getting better and better the more land drops you get. Should mean we don't run out of cards. But this mono white deck is notorious for not running out of cards. And we are flooding a little here. So I'm going to get this paragon dead because that matters a lot. I'm going to play Shieldred. And then we're probably going to use a blood token with this cut down. If they can get rid of the Shieldred, they have a really good attack here. And then we have to draw into better cards. Because even though we played the Blade Coil, we're running out of stuff, which is weird. Uh huh sus very sus they have a wandering emperor that doesn't kill the shieldred they have to have a ganjo and i don't really think that they do they must have something though i'm guessing it's wandering emperor is it worth the risk i mean i have death touch so it doesn't save them the way that they think it does but if they drew the Aganjo, that's pretty brutal. Okay, they did. All right, in that case, I guess we'll just gain this life. It's weird the way that they've played with like their lands. I think you guys see where I'm coming from. Anyway, another land off the top is not good. We're flooding out terribly now. Terribly. Sure, that's your draw. This ends today. All right. Come on, Blade Coils. Where are you? I... I mean, what the hell, man? We've drawn nothing but land since the Blade Coil. And I mean nothing. Uh, that's a card. Won't solve everything, though. They do have to get rid of their architect, but they get to keep their double striking token. And we don't draw anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine, ten. What a horrible game. Just disgusting luck. We should have been able to do this. I, wow. Just, wow. <laughs> My soul. Always has it, more like I can't have it. Mono red avatar. Uh, might, our curve might get stuck with two tap lands, but we'll see. Still looks pretty good. If you're playing Harvester on two, that's not too bad. As long as you play the Fable or the Corpse Appraiser the next turn, you're feeling good about it. No removal spell on the draw. I mean, if they have a perfect hand, they could just run you over. Especially if you don't get to play anything on turn three. So this hand is not without risk, and our opponent's giving the mono red vibe. The no sleeve Chandra avatar. They found the line. I go for the throat. Now we won't get stuck on two at least. There's a Felden. Here they come. All right, if we play the harvester, it probably just dies. So let's go for the throat, the Felden or a squee. Pew pew. 
strike face. Ta-da! I thought for a moment they were going to strike their own Felden to get a card. I would have laughed. All right, they're a scamper. Corpse. Dig up more removal. Or really, we're just looking for Shildred. Those aren't Shildred. Uh, do I want an untapped land, though? Ooh, I might. More than I want more harvesters. Yeah, and it's a pain land, which makes it pretty bad, but I think it's the play. Because if we draw a Sheldred, we need to cast it. Every turn counts. The opponent struck face. You'd think they have another strike. Okay, anger. Sure. Double attack. Make them use it, I guess. Gotta make them do it. I can sack it here for two. They probably should, and they will. Yep, and they did scry to the top, so it's another burn spell. And they appear to have another play with fire, but we cannot draw the Shildred. So we're probably just going to lose. Pretty brutal rope here from the opponent when they know they're probably just going to win. Definitely lets us know they have another play with fire. And they know that they scry to the top, so they have another burn spell. Down to two. Invoke Despair doesn't do anything for us. But these definitely don't. Maybe if I had picked another Harvester, we'd be in a better spot. Because we could at least play two Harvesters here. Gix's Command. I mean, we need a creature on board for that to be good. So we've got to play this and use Go for the Throat. If we untap with a creature that we can give lifelink, we have a chance. But all they need to do is draw damage. Very easy to do. Should have blocked the scamp on that attack turn. I know it would have traded, but I think that was the wrong block. Nothing? Oh my god, you're telling me there's a chance and no instance? Oh my gosh, we're gonna win. In my head, it's always the worst of times, right? But here we go. All right, um, sacrifice a creature and I'll get two plus one plus one counters and lifelink. And that's life gain. And that's probably enough. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> oh my god, I did not think I could pull... I thought I was going to lose that for sure. When they scry to the top in that spot, you know, what goes through your head, right? Like, what's in their hand that makes them do these things? And you just don't think you can win. On the play with this hand, let's see what the opponent thinks of Shieldred the Apocalypse. You might notice a common theme for this video, and this is just going to be a best of one thing. The Blade Coil Serpents are just going to sit in our hand a lot, because you don't always get to cast a 6-drop. Hopefully we get some more games where it matters, and then after we cast it, we don't just flood out or do anything embarrassing. I really do want to chain off Blade Coil into Blade Coil like the Hydroid Crasis of old. Wow. Just turn to Strike the Harvester. I'm not depressed about that. Let's see what we hit if we discard the blade coil. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Warfare is here. Invoke Despair is ready to fight it. Let's see if they can deal with Shieldred though. Fire one. Sometimes they have enough burn in hand to deal and they did lightning strike that harvester with a lot of enthusiasm, I'd say. They didn't think about it very much. Swifty. Check. Two cards left. If they attack all, then they have a lightning strike and they're trying to kill Shieldred. Should we just kill the Swift Spear or keep the Shieldred on board? I'll just play another Shieldred. It's fine. 
blazing crescendo. Okay, that would have been a lot of damage. So we'll take it. And their exiled card is a land. Let's clean up that mechanized warfare. It's the most threatening thing going on by far. Impulse after playing their land. When will they learn? Somebody needs to teach the children. Two Ronins. Hmm. I think I gotta make them discard those Ronins. It's a big problem. Or we could just play the Shieldred sacrifice one thing, but we know that they're going to have a lightning strike next turn. It's kind of scary, right? So if we play Shieldred and they play Reinforce Ronin, Reinforce Ronin, they attack all. We play Shieldred's Edict. They sacrifice a chick. Then if we take all the damage, we die. If we don't take all the damage, mm, oh my gosh. All right. So I think we do this now. How do we do it? I don't want to pay life here. And you can just pay colorless, it's fine. And then we have to go, at least two has to be black. So yeah, we'll just do all black mana. And there go their reinforced Ronins. See, big downside those going back to hand, right? Okay, that's a point. Six. This is five. This is two. We need them to not draw the right card next turn. Just don't draw the right card. Two points. Trigger. Get rid of the chick. What'd they draw? What'd they draw? What'd they draw? Whatever it was, it wasn't good enough, that's for sure. Finish them. Show me the mountain. I know it's a mountain. You know it's a mountain. <laughs> uh, sweaty games with mono red here in Mythic today. Sweaty, sweaty mono red gaming. On the draw, we'll keep the hand, we'll cut down something relevant, we'll draw the land, play the fable, and everything will go great from there. Our opponent roped out on the mulligan screen, which when they go first means you just sit there for a very long time. Um, and now they're just sitting here now. So we'll see if we have a game. Ah, yes, the real Magic the Gathering arena ladder mythic high stakes esports experience three two one they did emote just so you guys know they did like emote and their cards moved around they did say hello but there you go this is how you get up that ladder if you're not doing it this way you're not doing it right we go first it's a pretty slow hand but you can keep you, you know my rule. On the play, if your first play is a three mana card, that's good. You can keep it. We'll get the fast lands out of the way, because if we draw a third one, we want to go fast land, fast land, fast land, slow land, slow land. Oh, God. Oh, God. My hand was too slow. They played the one mana card that's so hard to beat. We've got to try to find our Gix's command. Uh-huh. Okay, that has double strike. That'll be fun. Can't wait to try to block that. Hey, I told you. Let's see if they have the Annex entry for the ultimate, like, got em. Ah, yes, yeah, card touching. So fun into the tank, into the tank, and they come out with, I'm attacking you with everything. Well, at this point, blocking is gonna happen. 
If they're using protection spells, good. I'll just get them out of the way. Titanic growth. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't take that damage. Also, the fact that they use that probably means they don't have more. All right, so we have five lands. We have Shieldred, we have Fable, we have Corpse Appraiser. I think the next Fable is the thing that's too slow, so I'm going to discard it, and I'm going to play the Shieldred here. Get in there, buddy. Well, they drew their first four lands, so they might be flooding. Usually if I draw that many lands with this deck, I'm in trouble. What's that? Oh, that's the thing that gives flying. Stupid draft deck. That's two more poison. Not the end of the world. But this still has infect. Wait, they're, they're gonna play some some snoot, some little pump spell? Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, is that... It's an enchantment? What the hell, man? All right. Uh, plus one plus O oh, and first strike if I have three or more poison. I guess we can cut it out of the sky with the Invoke Despair. Getting draft common pooped on over here. Our opponent has sleeved up the ultimate infect draft deck here in Mythic. And they might get us. They still have a flyer. We got rid of the Rot Priest. I wonder why they kept this. If they still expect to get through, or maybe they have more Titanic growth, that would make sense. Something to keep in mind. Okay. Oh my god. I am really losing to Chaff. I am getting destroyed by Chaff. In my Grixis deck, because I haven't drawn a single removal spell. Alright, eight. Dead next turn dead next turn still no removal oh my god so we have to take this land copy the corpse appraiser and then find the go for the throat and I, I know I know I have the edict those of you saying like yeah you're talking about no removal you know what I'm saying no targeted removal that actually works here that's what I need oh my god <gasps> are you kidding right now are you really kidding right now? And now this just flies over and I die. Oh, I guess we attack first, right? Maybe they block. Maybe they block. They don't block. Maybe they sack the wrong creature? Guys, I just lost to a limited deck. I was on the play, too. I just lost to a limited deck. All right, on the play. Let's do it. Let's start with the ridge into the shores so we don't have to use pain lands, potentially. Get a swamp from Greywalker, eh? Here's my harvester. You can do anything about it? Yes, they will, which makes the appraiser better. And we do this now because Trespasser is a card. And we actually fight over our graveyard resources in these matchups. Let's take the serpent. Serpents and invoke despairs, baby. That's what we're here for. Grind them out. Grasp? It, yeah, I guess you're... No, you're a vampire. Oh, they did have to pay three for grasp. All right, all right, all right, all right. Fable? How much removal you got? An obliterator. It's a good time to have a go for the throat. Do I discard this harvester? No. That's not a land. Gix's command is a good card, though. Let's give up this harvester because I was about to discard it anyway. Uh, maybe we also give up the serpent. No, I'll give up the go for the throat, right? Either one of these are going to remove this. The question is if I don't hit land. <laughs> if I don't hit land, though. Oh, no. Also, we can't cast Invoke Despair because of two reefs. 
Let's just give up the creatures. Those are tap lands. I made the right choice. <gasps> now next turn we can invoke or Gix's command and refill. Opponents poking around. They must have a, a trespasser. Let's see what they exile. But that's good for the Gix's command. Yeah, they got the best creature. They got the serpent. Yep, yep, yep. Save the blood token. Or pitch it the cliffs. I'm pitching these cliffs. They were it was kind of the worst two draws possible off that fable. Transform. Command. Return to sacrifice. Boom. Good value. Edict? Yeah, they can get a non-token creature that way. But I still think Edict is a terrible best of one card. I just cut it from this deck. I just added in a braid instead after I lost to that draft chaff. Invoke. Swing. Trespassers down there. Uh, Obliterator is probably a better card, but Trespasser fights over my graveyard, and I d we can't have it. I must be the graveyard lord. Another one of you. Two tap lands in hand. We'll turn those into other cards, probably. No, wait, we're a blade coil deck. Play out your lands. What's the matter with me? I'm sure we'll find a Blade Coil Serpent. This is the matchup where it's an amazing card. There's Shelly. Don't want to overthink it. If you attack here just confidently, the opponent might not block. Okay, then. Ah? Uh, uh, darn it. Okay. Uh, play our own. And play Fable. And play Harvester. And I'm going to hold these cards because we have a Fable Trigger about to happen. I know, I just said Blade Coil deck. We're not going to draw it. Okay, there's an Obliterator. Praiser. <laughs> Blade Coil spotted. <laughs> Gotta shut down that obliterator. Right now I can get it down to a 1-1. One, one. Okay. Can't cast it. I do have a lot of permanence. If I just attack with these, it's the damage dealt to it, right? If I just attack with both of these, make two treasures, sack. We need the blood token. Sack maybe corpse appraiser or just sack like Shivan Reef. Order the two treasures. I guess I should do this first. Hold on. What's the graveyard? Yeah, we've got something. It's an interesting spot for sure. Yeah, okay. That wasn't so bad. They want to take the Harvester. That's fine. Drop them to six. Is that an Invoke Despair? Nothing I can't handle. I think I just turn around and attack for the win if they Invoke Despair here. Okay, cool. Yeah. We're just going to swing. They're going to block. They're going to take eight. And that's without knowing what's coming. 
If I do the blade coil, it's sort of, it's like really slow and tedious. So I'll just put this on the stack instead. Send the message. Superior black mage coming through. 